Hello and welcome to Coxie's Picks and today we're going to be looking at these 40mm padlocks from Smith & Lock. They are plastic cord and they come supplied from Screwfix and B&Q in the UK and they come with four keys, key to like, so all of them are off the same key which is kind of useful if you wanted to reduce the amount of keys on your keychain and as you can see right, they don't use ball bearings so we're on to a little bit of a loss but there we go so I suppose we'd better try and pick it now because of the plastic core it does deaden any feedback you get so what we're going to use is we're going to use a wave rake right, and a tension tool so this is the 0 0.4 um, so snap it shut and it goes apply some tension make sure that you're above the um, rivets so you don't pin yourself up tension tool all the way into the back there are four pins in this lock and all you're going to do is wiggle and jiggle and that's the first one done and tension tool in wave rake in wiggle and jiggle so it's binding us up so just reset the tension start bouncing it and we're away the second one done and then we're on to the third one like so back in we go just gently bounce the tension you don't need to put a lot of tension on this because it is a plastic core right? and you don't want to force it so there we are we can see that all three of them could be raked quite quickly but there is another little exploit on these that is even easier all right, and that is shimming. So the way that I would shim this, you can see that there's a huge great gap. As you're gonna feed the shimmer in, you're gonna place it ever so gently just above like this. Now I know traditionally with lots of people today that you start on the side and then feed your way around, but you don't wanna bend your shim. We're gonna cheat and use mechanical advantage. So if I just place this like this, you can see that we then move the shackle ever so slightly to create a gap. That then pins them both in. You're gonna lightly push on both of them and notice that they won't go down. But if you push on the shackle, they'll go down. So we're now able to wiggle and jiggle on the shackle. And then if we hold both of them in place, you'll notice that we haven't bent the tools and we have easily defeated a Smith & Lock padlock. Thank you very much for watching. Stay safe and I'll see you in the next video. Goodbye.